right, now we'll talk to our number five seed from the Northern Sun Intercollegiate Conference, University of Minnesota Duluth, who finishes their season with an overall record of 29 and five. This is the 16th NCAA appearance for the Bulldogs, who are now 18 and 16 for the tournament. They last reached the regional championship match in 2006. The Bulldogs finished the NSIC regular season in a three-way tie for first with a record of 18 and two, and they hold the number five spot in the AVCA poll. Representing the Bulldogs are head coach Jim Boos and student athletes, senior defensive specialist Samantha Hurthaus and senior middle blocker Callie Lochner. We'll begin with an opening statement from Coach Boos and then open up for questions. Um, I want to congratulate Concordia St. Paul on advancing to the, the region championship again. Um, we, we wish them the best of luck representing our conference tomorrow. Uh, I think that's going to be a great match. Those two teams are both playing very well at a high level. and. Uh, I think it's going to be a great Division II volleyball match. It's a shame it's got to occur at the regional final round that it's going to happen at. Uh, I also want to thank Concordia as the host for doing such a great job. They run a, a classy tournament as always, and you know you can't ask for better uh, people in terms of hosting. As far as our situation goes, you know, first and foremost, I just want to thank these two sitting next to me for you know all their time and effort that they put in through their years in our program. Uh, you know, I think they both have a lot to be proud of tonight and throughout the weekend. I thought they both played exceptionally well. I thought Callie was amazing yesterday, and I thought Sammy really did a great job tonight. When your right back specialist leads you in digs, you know, she came to play. And so really proud of the way, you know, that they performed. Obviously, we would have liked to have played a little bit better as a collective unit. Um, you know, obviously, Concordia makes that difficult and takes advantages of things that you don't do uh, well at times. And, and tonight, we just never seem to get the the momentum going our way and playing the way we wanted to. All right, thanks, Coach. Now we'll take questions. Uh, coach, it just seemed like you were uh, trying to catch up the whole time. Uh, then defense seemed to come around in that third set. Uh, just too late. Right? Absolutely, yeah. You know, and you have the discussion. It's not anything that we didn't know. We knew we were going to have to battle point by point and not give up any runs. And of course, early on there, you know, they made a, a run, and some of it's you know, precipitated by us making some errors and some unforced errors. And, you know, I think that's the big difference tonight is Concordia doesn't tend to make many unforced errors and uh, is a little bit more efficient. And we just never seem to be able to get our traction in the match. And like you said, if you're playing catch up the entire night, it's hard to ever uh, get back into a match like this. Um, I was proud of the way we fought, you know, in matches like this, we've, we've kind of faded off. And in the third game, I thought we came back and gave ourselves a chance. But again, we just didn't make enough plays, and, and Concordia made some plays that mattered more. So. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we started off a little, a little slow, so that made it tough. But, you know, we fought back, and I was proud of the effort that we gave. Yeah, I agree with these two. I mean, we, it did seem like we were always playing catch up, but we were always just, a, we were there, we were just a little step behind, and we gave it all we got. Well, absolutely. I mean, we were just going to keep working and trying to pick away. You know, unfortunately, tonight I didn't think it seemed like Concordia was going to give any big runs up. Everything was going to have to be earned. And so it was going to take us playing at a higher level in order to beat a team like that. And uh, we just never seemed to be able to take that next step for a consistent period of time. There are glimmers of very, very good volleyball on our side of the net. It just wasn't frequent enough, wasn't for a long enough duration. And and uh, the way Concordia played consistent throughout the match, I think that really made the difference. Uh, Coach, uh, what were they doing to contain the eight? Just held a 10 kill. Well, some of it is, you know, we were a little out of system. And, you know, in those situations, especially early, um, we weren't using the other hitters enough. Um, it's something we discussed later on. And we, we started trying to get the middle and the right side of the ball a little bit more off the net. Um, but then Concordia readjusted. And, and you know, it's, it's part of being a bit of a young team. We, we've got to learn from these situations and, and understand how to play the, the game, if you will, the chess game that volleyball is. And, and I don't think we did a very good job of that tonight. Um, you know, they're smart. They know Kate's certainly the go-to kid. And, and, you know, tonight Kate gave it everything she had. You know, she didn't have this, 
the, the same game she had last night. Um, you know, when she has those superhuman efforts, she can carry a team on her shoulder. Tonight, for whatever reason, it, you know, she just didn't have that same match. And again, I think you got to give Concordia a lot of credit. They, they defend her well. They slow her down with the block. And, uh, you know, all in all, it's, I think it's as much about what Concordia did as it is about what we didn't do. Um, you know, it was a team effort completely. What, what we got done, we did it as a team. And, you know, it was, you know, we tried to slow them down as much as we could, but they were, they were on fire, so that was hard to do. But, you know, it's, it's good. I love my teammates. and it's sad to leave. Um, well, we knew that they were going to have a balanced offense, so we knew it was going to go either pin to pin or right up the gut, and we just knew that we had to try to defend and just try to touch any ball that we could, and we rallied around. Like, I know the team rallied around me and Callie, and it was good to have those runs because I knew that they were working hard for us, and like Callie said, we're a family, and we love this team so much, and it is going to be sad to go, but we know that they played hard for us, and we know that they gave it all they got. thought it was a good game. We'll have time for one final question. Coach, is uh, Concordia ever going to have a down match here? Uh, I don't think if, if your strategy going into playing Concordia is wait for them to screw up, I don't think you're going to be real happy with the results. I think it's going to take someone coming out and playing well. You know, when we got them up at our place, we had a great night. We hit above 300. We defended really well. We served tough. That was the difference. You know, the two times we've lost, we've, we've hit below 200. And again, that's a lot to do with what they're doing to slow you down. Um, but, you know, some of what they're doing with the serve to get us out of system. But ultimately, it, it was about us playing at a higher level. So, you know, as far as tomorrow night's match goes, I don't think either team is going to do anything but bring everything they have and hope that they play better than the other side. I think it's going to be a great Division II volleyball match. And again, I just think it's a shame you know, on matches like this and the one before ours with Southwest. I mean, what a great year they had. And to see it end for them this early, it's just too bad because to me, these are all national championship caliber teams and it, it just isn't the way it's cut out in our regionalization model. So, um, you know, it is what it is. And again, we wish the two teams luck tomorrow and it should be fun to watch. Great. Thank you, University of Minnesota Duluth and congratulations on a great season.